And then this is pretty much the gateway to the album Marl. Virginia! That's boat life in a nutshell. We'll find out if this is a good decision or a bad decision shortly. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Today is going to be a good day. Today is going to be a good day. It's so nice and calm this morning uh, here in the Tuckahoe Point Anchorage, just north of Bellhaven. We have a long day today. We're going through new territory. We're gonna try the Virginia Cut. Yeah. The biggest challenge, as you guys know from yesterday, the Albemarle. And I can kick your butts just like our butts were kicked last year. Uh, last year and uh, yesterday. Uh, so we're gonna take it basically piece by piece and make sure the wind looks good and the waves look good and the swell looks good. It's the swell really. The first step is Alligator River and leaving the uh, anchorage. Mm -hmm. So let's pull up the anchor. Vamanos. We just recently got a comment that our idol is too high. Something I've never, something I've never thought about, um, didn't know to think about. So we're gonna look into that in the next couple days while we're in Norfolk for the rendezvous and see what we can do about it. I don't know even know the first thing about it. Um, so thank you to everybody commenting and then saying, oh, this and that. And you know, even just if you're not commenting to say anything in particular and just commenting to say hi or, or thanks, it means a lot to us. The kind comments. The kind and constructive. Since the Alligator River and the crossing of the Albemarle um, are not exactly in the same direction, uh, we kind of have you can you can have frequently what we have today, which is when sort of on the beam in the Alligator River, and then with you when you're crossing the Albemarle. And you definitely want to, want to choose with you on the Albemarle uh, compared to choosing it for the Alligator River because there's not that much fetch. Uh, it's definitely a wide river, but it's not like the Albemarle. And so we have a little bit of a shaky cruise. It's a little rocky so far, but nothing like, nothing too bad. Nothing like yesterday. We are wrapping up our cruise through the Alligator River and the final stop is the Alligator River Swing Bridge. This is a bridge you have to hail unless you are less than 14 feet, uh, which most loopers are not. But luckily they just open on demand, so no problem, no timing required. And then this is pretty much the gateway to the Albemarle. You know, there's a little tricky section getting out and then we're off. Alligator River Swing Bridge, Alligator River. This is northbound motor vessel pivot. Over. Hi there, I'd like to request an opening. We are northbound about uh, 0.8 miles away. We should be at the bridge in about seven minutes. Over. Yeah, I see you out there. Uh, what's the name of that vessel again? Uh, the vessel name is Pivots. 
P-I-V-O-T. David, there's a motor vessel that's coming up on you pretty quickly. He'll probably get up here about the time I'm getting ready to open. I don't think it'll slow us down, but I am going to wait on him. That sounds good. We'll keep an eye out and uh, we'll be here. There is the Albemarle. We made it. Let's hope that it's a smooth cruise. We need a win after yesterday. We need a win. We are pretty much dead center in the Albemarle. And I wanted to give y'all an update. It's been amazing. There's been a little bit of swell, and with swell comes rocking and rolling on pivot. Uh, but it's been very, very nice. Um, pretty much as, as good as we can ask for. The wind's directly behind us, uh, so it's a little bit high. But there's like hardly, there's no waves. There's no white caps for sure. Um, the swell is very small. And only when it hits us dead on the beam do we even really notice it. So it's been fantastic. Like, yeah, as good as we can ask for. And uh, we still have to get through the other side, which will be the which will be the windward side. Um, so that might be a little bit more rough, but so far so good. made it through the Albemarle. We have just entered the North River and boy was today a totally different day than yesterday. It has been a great cruise. Still rocky but nothing too abnormal. Now the where we kind of split off uh, right just past the Alligator River Bridge that's actually where the ICW splits and so part of the ICW will go sort of north uh, west a little bit uh, that's to Elizabeth City and then the Dismal Swamp Canal. And then this route is called the Virginia Cut. And so we're coming up through Coin Jock today, and then we go up through Chesapeake City, the Virginia Cut, and then we arrive in the same place, which is the Elizabeth River, just south of Norfolk and Portsmouth. And this is new to us. We've done the Dismal Swamp twice. I highly recommend it. Here are the videos on it. Um, but now we're gonna try something new. Just getting through the North River and it seems like the wind has come. Uh, we're getting some pretty decent gusts now. I mean, like 15 to 20, I would say. 
look pretty strong. Um, it's nice that we got through the album run when we did and we got through it early. We try to work with Ollie. Today happened to be an example of a day that we, that we really can work with her because we did not take her out to go to the bathroom this morning. So her last bathroom break was when I took her out last night. And so that means that she has to go today. And so we've been working with her throughout the day. We don't really film it because it's pretty boring, but we tried to film a little bit today, which is essentially me telling Ollie like, hey, do your business, do your business, do your business. A thousand times, me having treats. I wrote an entire blog post on all of the different questions that we've been asked about having Ollie on board with us, as well as different tidbits that, I, that we've received from other boaters with dogs, um, things that have worked and have not worked for them. So we will link it in the description and over here. The marina up ahead is Coin Jock Marina, and it is most notably known for its 32 ounce prime rib. We're vegetarians, that doesn't interest us. So we're gonna be going right by it, but here's a shot of our friends, Andy and Gwen, and they had the prime rib. Supposedly it's great. So we're just gonna continue on path, but this marina is a typical spot for loopers if you are doing the Virginia cut route. This is like the main um, place that people stay and they do actually sell out every single night of their prime rib, so it is that popular. So we've been told that if you do want to make sure that you get a prime rib, that you should call ahead and just confirm that they will have one available for you. Seems like everybody who passed us today is here at Coin Jog. Literally, there's like eight boats. It's like, oh, I remember them, I remember them, I remember them. And on we go. You know, this is our first time cruising through this area, so we're kind of experimenting and exploring, and we have a, an idea of where to stop. Let's see if it works out. But we still have about 18 more miles to go on our journey before we drop the hook for the night. This is typical life on pivot. I was sitting in the first mate admiral chair and then I get up to film something and then Mrs. Steal Your Seat comes in and takes it. She's not Mr. Steal Your Girl, she's Mrs. Steal Your Seat. What the heck, Ollie? Girlfriend. What's going on? It's not your seat. Ollie, what do you have to say for yourself? She said. All right, off. Go to your bed. As we pass through Coin Jock, 
we crossed into Coin Jock Bay and North Landing River. And these two bodies of water are fairly open, not anywhere um, compared to the Albemarle or the Pamlico Sound. However, they are a decent body of water. We are getting winds from the southwest right now, and the direction that we're going is northeast, no, northwest. So that means that we're getting wind directly on our beam, which is not fun. So I know Elliot's upstairs doing the best he can to just navigate through um, and try and keep the boat as steady and to give us the most comfortable cruise as possible. However, that just does it like, I just, I'm not nauseous, I'm not seasick, but I just hate like wind and cruising with wind on the beam. It makes for such an uncomfortable cruise. It just makes me very anxious and nervous. So yeah, just keeping it real. Virginia from a new wave. Honestly, we didn't know we were gonna be coming through Virginia until about an hour ago. So, or I didn't. Jen probably knew. I didn't. Welcome to Virginia. Ollie, welcome to Virginia. Welcome to Virginia. Woo! One thing that uh, you can't see behind the screen is that it is hot today. It's like 87 degrees right now. Like all these gusts of wind are just blowing hot air onto us, which is just weird. We haven't had a day this hot on the loop yet. Tomorrow there's a low of 40 and a high of 60, so it only is going to last for one day. It's a little warm today, right, Ben? Yeah, it is a little warm. I mean, it's not terrible in the shade, but it is a bit warm. Are you hot? Bump it. We are coming up to our final destination for today, which is our anchorage. We have three anchorages in mind. So we're gonna try and see which one looks best. We have some foul weather ahead of us, I think tonight, some thunderstorms. And that's what we're keeping in mind whenever we're looking at these anchorages. Plan A uh, is gonna be nixed. They have decent pilings, and if we weren't taking Ollie out tonight, we would maybe consider it, but we're gonna have to drop the dinghy to take Ollie out, so it might as well be anchored and get a better breeze and um, you know, not worry about hitting pilings and having fenders set up the right way and everything. Um, it just makes more sense for us to anchor. And then since this like park uh, area has some beaches, it'd be so easy to take Ollie out later. It is extremely shallow here. We saw, I don't know if we bumped the bottom, we might've bumped it, it was pretty close. Um, so we're gonna try to track our path out of here. I'm gonna make sure we track the same path back. I don't think there's quite enough room for us here. I mean, because we have to let out some scope with swing, and then we might swing into something that, you know, we don't want to. Plan B does not work out. That's okay. We have a plan C. Plan D, none of the above. <laughs> yeah, that, that's boat life in a nutshell. We see the clouds off in the distance. We're kind of on the edge of the channel and this other 
niche. It's not the greatest spot, but we're gonna leave tomorrow morning, so. Yeah, and it's really shallow over there, so we can't get in. Yeah. It should be okay, though, because it has, it's decently close to the spot to take Ollie out. Yeah. Yeah. So the beach says no mooring, um, and well, one of them says that, the other one does not. Uh, the other one had people at it though, and dogs, and so I didn't want to interrupt them and just uh, take over the beach. We're on a long, a long way, which is down into, I think it's a public boat ramp here, and I'm sure it's I hope LA gets back soon because this storm is coming in and it is coming in fast. <laughs> You're gonna stay. I, 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 what did I say? Those skies do not look good. Sorry, Ollie, this is gonna be a quick one. Are you happy, girl? Oh. <laughs> Clouds are coming in hot. The wind has picked up significantly and Pivot has turned 180 degrees with the wind change, which is fine because we planned that when we were anchoring. And Elliot is now on his way back, thankfully, because there are white caps around us. We're in a shallow, like a not very wide open space. And I just wanna make sure he's safe before it starts raining. And So close. I think I've made it. Very I think. Close. Yeah, very close. I'm glad Pivot's still here. The wind shifted 180 degrees. Yeah. Wow. We'll find out if this is a good decision or a bad decision shortly. Oh, I didn't get rained on. Ollie, you didn't get rained on either. Come on in, babe. Oh, and it smells divine in here. Oh my goodness. What are you making? Tacos. Really? Black bean tacos. Yay. Yeah. That's one face. of my favorites. See this one? Look at this. <laughs> wow. It was so beautiful today. I'm like, eh, the thunderstorms are not going to be that bad. Days like these, I am extremely grateful and for our anchor. Agnes. Agnes. A good night's sleep. I think we have determined though that this is not an anchorage that you'll want to be at for multiple days. But tomorrow, when the sun's out, it's gonna be just a train of boats and yeah, it's gonna it's not gonna work out. Chef is in there. Tonight we have 
you guys have seen this probably quite a bit, but these are truly some of our favorite tacos. Black bean tacos, there are an outrageous number of flies in here. Black bean tacos with um, bell pepper and some spice. There's cojita cheese, avocado, cilantro, pe pickled red onions, tomatoes, it's very good. And we have some chips and salsa. While we eat dinner tonight, we're gonna be enjoying some of our favorite YouTubers. Tonight we're watching Adam and Catherine. Hey Kona! Thanks for taking all of you. One good thing to know before visiting Big Sur is that there are often closures due to wildfire damage. That wraps up our day traveling from the Alligator River up through the Albemarle Sound, which we are so grateful that we had such a a relatively easy cruise today and we passed coin jock and made it our way into Virginia so we have been making some miles and we are very very close to Norfolk um, which is a destination we've been keeping in mind for the America's Great Loop Cruise Association spring rendezvous um, we appreciate you watching this video today thank you so much for sticking along and we'll see you tomorrow cheers it is 9.15 at night and the weather has significantly calmed down. The water is almost like glass, so there's not much wind, not much waves, not much anything. I think the weather system is passed, which is really nice. It's because that way we'll have a much more restful sleep tonight. And it is no moto... We have three anchored. Three. That's four. Where were we cruising yesterday? Elizabeth. No. South of Elizabeth City. So that wraps up our day traveling from. Where did we travel from? 